Hi, in this video we're taking a brief introduction to Google Finance. Now Google Finance was introduced by Google in 2006, but the product really became uh, popular after it uh, signed an agreement with both the NASDAQ and the New York Stock Exchange in about uh, early 2008. So with those two great partnerships, uh, Google Finance was able to really take uh, a step forward in providing financial information on the internet. Now, again, with many of uh, Google services, it doesn't actually uh, create the information itself. It seeks it with third-party providers and then aggregates it all into one place. So what is Google Finance? Well, Google Finance offers an easy way to search for stocks and mutual funds, public and private companies. By combining content license from these financial data providers and content from the web, Google Finance lets you easily find and manage your financial information online. Now, it's not available in all locations. If I just uh, scroll down to the bottom of the page, we can see that uh, Google Finance is still in beta and uh, has been in beta since uh, 2006. Uh, so it's available in Hong Kong, Canada, US, China, and UK. And in those different locations as well, you won't have all the tabs down here on the left-hand navigation. I think the US is the um, probably the one that has the most useful uh, information provided at the moment. But as I say, it's in beta, so uh, the product is still growing. So what do we have? Well, this is the market summary page here, the first tab and the default one. The only annoying thing I think on this page, by the way, is uh, the adverts that appear on here. Uh, but that aside, we have a market summary. And for the keen uh, among you, uh, you'll note that uh, the date is being display, uh, displayed here as February the 18th. That was Friday. And the markets are currently closed as I do this video on the 21st of February because it's President's Day. So uh, some of the uh, information will be slightly out of date on here. Uh, as we scroll down, we can see um, there are top stories. Um, now, had I been using uh, this uh, particular product for looking at different companies, and we will come on to that in a moment, but uh, if I had a history of doing that here, then the top stories would also have not only current market information, but specific here tabs related to companies that I have been searching on as well. So we can find top stories. We can also find what's happening in the world markets. And if you look at these figures on the right hand side, you see that uh, they will be uh, updating. Yep, there we go, the FTSE 100 uh, here in the UK where I am uh, has just updated itself. Um, we've got the French uh, CAC 40 here as well. And in fact, if I click on one of these links, you'll see that we're taken to a page uh, with more information and an interactive chart as well about that particular information source. So I'm going to come back to the finance page we're on just now. Uh, we can then scroll down, see more information uh, about currencies, uh, certainly the major uh, uh, currencies here. And then we come down and we can see uh, trends. Now Google has another product uh, called uh, Google Trends and it's pulling information uh, from there. And we can see uh, popular searches currently on Google. Uh, we can see prices, uh, the gainers and losers, uh, market capitalizations, uh, gainers and losers, and gainers, or uh, oh, sorry, leaders by volume. Uh, we can also see some basic bond information and a, a sector summary as well. So that's a basic introduction to the home page of uh, Google Finance. I'm just going to come back here. Um, Google Finance is also available on Google Mobile. So if you're using uh, any mobile smartphone um, that, or any smartphone and using the uh, mobile software on it, you can go to Google and Google Finance will show here. And so you can get some basic information. If you're using a, a specific platform, now here, for instance, is the Android platform, Google's own uh, software, then you can download an app from the Android Marketplace uh, for Google Finance. There's also one for the iPhone as well. Um, I'm not sure about BlackBerry and any of the other platforms, but certainly the iPhone and Android have these uh, apps available where you can access Google information. Uh, if you're using BlackBerry and it doesn't have an app for it currently, then certainly you can use uh, Google Mobile uh, to access market information. Okay, so on the left-hand side, we continue down to uh, News. And we can uh, see current uh, US market news here. And you'll see the news is normally grouped. 
So normally grouped on a theme, and this is being pulled from the uh, Google News uh, algorithm. So in a separate video, I cover uh, Google News, and it's grouped by topic. And you can see other related articles as well. So this layout is pretty much what you'd see on Google News. Um, portfolio related, I cover that in a separate video. You need to be signed in and have an account for that. Um, portfolios, the main tab here, again, that's in a separate video. So let's go to a stock screener. And just take a moment or two for that to load. Google Finance's stock screener allows you to search for stocks, and currently only US stocks by the way, by specifying a much richer set of criteria than a text search would normally allow. You can screen stocks by using uh, uh, the default criteria you can see here, or by specifying your own criteria. So what do I mean by that? Well, we can set criteria by a set exchange. And we have the Amex, NASDAQ, and New York Stock Exchange here. We can also choose a sector that we're interested in. So if we're looking for bargain um, shares uh, that aren't, aren't trading too well at the moment in a specific uh, sector, then this is an ideal tool for starting to screen out those stocks. Now to do that, you might want additional um, screening criteria rather than just market capitalization and PE ratio. So what you can do is click the little add criteria and we might want to look at growth for instance so if you're wanting to look at 10-year revenue growth rates we simply add that criteria let's minimize that now and so we've added to uh, the uh, normal columns here also the 10-year revenue revenue uh, growth rate as well now these are the company names but we can also uh, limit that by 10 or increase to 30 companies per or rows per screen and we can also then uh, navigate through as well but a quicker way might be even to actually search for the company that you want in stock screener now you'll notice that the um, these are called spark lines this kind of histograph uh, histogram graph sorry uh, if you're using um, Excel 2010 then uh, you'll be familiar with uh, the spark lines approach um, but we can also interact with the graph here and you'll see on the right hand side that the market capitalization is now coming down from the one trillion down into the billions now down into the millions as I do that you'll have noticed if you had your eye on the bottom of the screen that uh, the uh, chart uh, changed and some companies uh, were removed from that as we changed the market capitalization and in fact the previous uh, 1400 companies that were listed there were now down to 205 rows so the stock screener, uh, I'm not going to really go too much more into this because you could do just several videos on this topic alone, but the stock screener does allow you um, the or affords you the ability to actually start narrowing down on particular stocks that are available uh, for trading and uh, perhaps to find uh, even some bargains. Now the final um, link on the left hand navigation here is uh, Google Domestic Trends and this is pretty much unique to Google. I haven't seen this uh, anywhere else and you can have a visual representation of um, trends in different uh, markets and so currently we're seeing the Google Auto Buyers uh, Index but what I'm going to do is look at computers and electronics so by clicking on this we just wait a few moments for Google to uh, go and grab that data and then serve it up so now we get uh, specific uh, charts and I can do some uh, comparing if I want I can actually come onto the chart it's a flash based chart so I can then start looking at uh, prices and you'll see in the top right hand corner there it being updated I can also look at one year five year ten year or all I can also download this information to a spreadsheet and I can also link to it as well. So here we're just getting a visual chart, a visual representation of um, what was happening within the computer and electronics uh, field um, within our shares.